Hello, you healthy, beautiful people. Today we're gonna to make a stew made with turkey and some chickpeas. And I've got some things going on, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna start doing a little bit more long form. I will still do shorts. I love short videos. But health-wise, I have high cholesterol and high iron. So that's something to tackle. Um, not to mention, well, I'm going to mention my foot injury that started in the summer. And so um, I am back up on my feet. And we're going to get cooking. And we are going to get healthy again. Because I'm not able to work out. Not like I want to. And I just really got to get this extra weight off and just start being a little bit more health conscious. So I hope that you will join me on this journey. All right, let's get started. I did a little bit of prep work. I cut up two carrots, an onion, and four garlic cloves. That's what's in this bowl here. And then I have a can of chickpeas here that we're going to mush up and we also have another can of chickpeas that is set aside okay i put a little bit of oil in my pan and i've got a pound of this ground turkey here so i'm going to cook that up and i'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of red crushed peppers. I can't really do spicy, but my husband likes it. And I think that's enough that I could tolerate there. And I'm gonna do the fennel seeds. It called for ground fennel, but I don't have that. And I also think this garlic powder you can't go wrong with. And we're gonna do half a teaspoon of black pepper. And might as well as do half a teaspoon of salt as well. So those are our spices. We're gonna get this nice and flavored and cooked up. That fennel smells good. The fennel, sounded like I said funnel, fennel. And now I'm gonna add in the carrots. I had two medium carrots, one small to medium onion, about a cup of chopped onion, and four garlic cloves. We'll get this all nice and cooked up together. How's your summer been? Let me know in the comments how you all have been doing. I really appreciate you sticking with me and sticking with my channel. I refuse to start a new channel. I've worked so hard just to get to this point. It's really kind of ridiculous, but tis what it is. Let those cook down a little bit. That's really cooking good. Those onions look translucent. So I'm gonna add these uh, munched up, crunched up, mushed up, mashed up chickpeas here. And then it calls for three tablespoons of this tomato paste. So I'm not really a perfectionist when it comes to measuring because it all ends up being yummy anyway. It smells really good. Okay, I've got some chicken broth here. We're gonna add the chicken broth and then we're gonna let this simmer down for a little bit. I'm going to add the entire container of broth because otherwise, if I save a little, it just ends up going to waste. It sits in the fridge and then I end up throwing it out. But this is a 32 ounce. And it's 
a stew kind of soup likes anyway so a little bit of extra broth never hurts okay I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit and then I'll come back to you and I was supposed to add in the whole chickpeas as well so there's a can of whole chickpeas going in and then we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes so I'm gonna set my timer and I will come back to you in 10 minutes oh look at this spinach this is frozen spinach it's got a lot of these stems in it what is your opinion do you pick the stems out feel like them in there um, I'm picking a few of them out. I feel really badly for the people in the southern states with all of the devastation of the hurricanes. I almost feel guilty eating. But we have to go on. We have to continue to work and live and be thankful for everything that we have. Okay, my alarm went off, so I'm going to add this spinach into here now. This is going really good. I can see how good that's bubbling. All right, now all of this delicious frozen spinach is going in. And that's gonna, of course, change the temperature. So we're going to, wow, I just slammed that down. We're going to raise the heat up a little bit since we just added a bunch of frozen stuff here. Frozen spinach. Stir that in. Oh wow, that is looking really good. Yummy. And I'm going to put the lid back on and let that cook. And you guys, I'm going to read all your comments so I know I've asked a couple of questions. So Let me know if you know anybody who is was in the hurricane, if you were in the hurricane or not. I'm so thankful that my friends were not. I know there's um, some YouTubers out there that were. Okay, there it is. Looking good, smelling good. It is fall. Mine probably went, oh, about four to five minutes. Now you can dish, dish it on up. Oops. All right. My camera flip and I'm recording. So you can add cheese to the top, any kind that you like. And now let's try this. Wow, that's really good. That's really flavorful. Mmm. Yummy. Alright guys, I recommend it. Try it out, it's really good.